Alright guys, what's up? Uh, back today, I'm very tired. Don't feel like filming a video. Uh, it's raining out, so I can't really go do anything. I'm outside, so I'm gonna do a fishing gear check. Let's, let's get into it. Alright, first off, I got this Shakespeare. Ugly stick, GS, GX2. Pretty nice, it's a 6.6. Six. Medium action. Pretty, pretty stiff rod, it's a lot, it's like, like 70-30 backbone, 80-20 back, backbone, so it's got 80% backbone, 20% bend, 30% bend, something like that. So the longest one I have actually, all my rods right now are 6 foot, oh, it's got some sand in here. So yeah, that's my, uh, it's my first rod. Second, I got this. Oh, that's in a bait cast, by the way. Second, I got this Shakespeare Alpha rod. Came with a reel, but the the reel is kind of. Give me, give me a sec. The reel's kind of boof. If you focus in on that. Yeah, it's a little broken. You can reel, this spins, put my thumb on it, hold it down, still spins. Uh, something's wrong with the braking system and the the drag. I'm not sure what, but it's not a very good reel anyways. Got this, this is in six foot, two piece. It's like a 50-50, 60-40 bend. It's pretty nice. I like this rod a lot. Or the... The ugly stick's more stiff, and then I have the alpha. It's a little less stiff. All right, third I got spinning rod. Zep Zepco Splash. This is one of those $10 combo rods at Walmart. I got this for Christmas like three years ago. I didn't really fish, I just kind of got a rod. So yeah, there's not much to say about that. Uh, six foot. Bend's pretty good. You guys seen see it in all my videos. I run a drop shot on it, and then I have this rod. Last but not least, it is a Silstar Neon Graphite Composite NX60 SP. No clue what that is. Um, my cousin gave it to me a while back, along with some other stuff. So. It's okay. It's not that nice of a rod, but it's okay. All right, now onto the reels. All right, we'll start. We'll start spinning since I already have this in my hand. We have. This is the reel Jaden gave me. This is the reel Jaden gave me. It's an Akuma little Steeler something. Akuma Steels or Steeler, forty. It's um. Not good at all. Don't buy it. That's all I have to say. Spooled it up with some 20 pound test. Mono. As you can see there. And uh, yeah, there's not much to say about that. Next, we have this Walmart combo. You just saw the rod. Here's the reel. Zepco Splash 20. Very, very quality reel. It has some modifications done to it, so Jaden gave me that other reel that was broken as you've seen in previous videos. And this reel was broken. It didn't have a didn't have a crank like a handle. Uh, so I took the handle off the broken reel that Jaden gave me, put it on this. And now I use this for drop shotting. So shout out to Jaden. Uh as you guys saw my Last video, I believe, or whenever you're watching this, my I have no title video. We went to Walmart and bought some drop shot stuff and some line. Here's that 12 pound test. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. You can focus. Oh, there we go. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description or I'll put it up in the cards. All right, now on to bait casters. 
Um, other than this, which is trash, I don't use that. Um, I have this Abu Garcia Silver Max spooled up with 30 pound braid. This is a six ball bearing system, 6.4 to one gear ratio. Something, oh, and I lost, fell off. I don't know how or where it went, but the adjustment knob here, I don't know if you can see here, get closer. This adjustment knob right here, it's gone. Something I really like about this reel, so as you can see, if you open it, there's a little button right here that you can push to close it instead of reeling. So if you're trying to flip something in there and you don't want to reel in, you should close it. It's a pretty cool feature Abu Garcia added to this Silver Max here. And my other reel's not on here. So let's check in my backpack real quick. We have a problem that I'm not going to uh, address right now, but there is hooks everywhere. I'm just going to set that right there. Found my lens cap. Lost that. All right. Here we go. This is my Bass Pro Shops Tourney Special Raw Reel. Sorry, Reel. It's, I believe... 50 or $60 is the same price as my Abu Garcia. And I don't know which one I like the quality in more. My Abu Garcia is nice. This is pretty nice as well. This has a six, six to one gear ratio opposed to six, four to one with my Abu Garcia. A five bearing system, Abu Garcia has six. And this is also spooled up with 30 pound test spider wire braid. We have a kind of red scad rattle trap here. We've got a couple jerk baits, a couple bass, and then I have a white shad under them. Deep diving crank. That's kind of like, I don't know explain it, but deep diving crank bait. I have a popper and then a frog popper, which me and Jaden call the fropper. These are my square bells. I have a shad, red craw, and then a blue and silver. These are my little tiny, little, little shad jerk baits. They're real small. Uh, here we have half ounce and then three eighth ounce drop shot weights. Goes into my jig heads, my hooks, big hooks, connectors, and then in here I put all my micro hooks because they're always spilling and getting all inside of the box. Uh, some little pinch weights, bobbers, multi-tools, etc. That's it for the first box. This is my second box. Okay, so up here we got a green buzz bait and a white buzz bait. Never use them, they're out of the dollar thing from Walmart. Same with these spinner baits, they're all out of the dollar box from Walmart. Got a bunch of different colors here. You got a white, two whites, a bl uh, black, black and yellow, red and yellow. Uh, here we have these swim baits, more swim baits for trailers. Uh, I have a mm, chatter bait, Z Man in black and blue. Z Man chatter bait in black and blue. Z Man chatter bait in like this neon yellow and green. I have a KVD jig in this like green, black, and gold color. I have two Strike King 
red and green jigs. I have a green frog. It's a pad crasher junior popping frog and a bronze kind of black bottom or black black and bronze colored pad crasher junior. And I just have these little frog trailers that I can throw on micro hooks to catch the smallest fish in the world. So that's it for the boxes. Alright, so on to soft plastics. I have a lot. Well, actually no I don't. I personally I think I have a lot, but it's I don't have that much. I'm gonna kinda speed go through them. Here's some young creature craws, real the uh, bigger size, and this dark green blue. Yum curl tail worms, red or black with red flake. <clears throat> Yum dingers and a watermelon with red flake. You guys have seen those before, I use them quite often. Zoom brush hogs. There is a six inch in watermelon seed. These yum, real dark green curls with red flake. Light green with red flake. Kind of a medium green with blue flake. These red um, craw kind of yum dingers that are for Jaden. Also some off brand Lucky Strike curl tails that Jaden wanted. Uh, I have these yum little baby brush hogs, or whatever they call them, creature baits. Um, some all dark green yum jig or jig trailers or crawls, whatever you want to call them. Here's some regular sized yum brush hogs. Uh, empty pack of Gary Yamanotos. I have some shreds in there. I don't know why I still have this. Um, these June bug black and blue kind of mixed between June bug and black and blue. Yum crawls. And as you guys saw, zoom finesse worms. And watermelon red. So the trick worms, I worked those on drop shot. I use them a lot. Now, everybody thinks you need a real fancy bag to carry around all your gear. I have a black. Jan Sport backpack that I used last year. Why does this look? This looks like it's like yellow or like a red, dark red in the camera. It's black, I promise. Um, carry around some scissors, pliers, and these these long pinch plier things. Pretty cool. Um, aside from a casting net, a couple boxes with some irrelevant fishing things in it. That's about it for my fishing gear. That's all my soft plastics, hard, baits, both my boxes that I carry with me at all times, my backpack, all my rod and reels. Um, I know I don't have a lot of stuff. Didn't start. I just started fishing not too long ago. So, it'll grow. I'll get more stuff over time. But uh, that's about it for now. Next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below what your favorite lure or bait is. And if you prefer bait casting, reels, or spinning reels. I'll see you guys next time.